Welcome back to Black City Coffee. So in this video, I wanted to um, go over using Roast Path again, but this time um, as a component in me making my first blends. Ooh, exciting. So um, I'm going to be blending some of the um, sort of leftover coffees, green coffees that I had. Uh, I changed my mind about blends, or I'm coming around to doing more blends because of a video by Derek from Mill City Roasters. He was saying like, well, you know, there's a lot of ways that you could look at blends in that, yeah, it's a way to save money and that's kind of how I thought of it. And so I was thinking, oh, blends are a, a lesser sort of quality coffee. When in fact, you can make it, um, what he called the uh, unique, your signature blend. Like, um, for example, Intelligentsia, I think a lot of people are really familiar with the Black Cat for Espresso. So I was thinking, well, you know what? Logistically, it makes total sense because there are times where you're just gonna be left with leftover greens that don't really equal to say, like my machine can do uh, one kilo of coffee at a time, so I'm probably not gonna have a kilo of coffee perfectly left over every time that I, I think it would be great to experiment during this time. Um, when I have leftover and I, I don't exactly have, you know, a full batch to do. I started to think about it and I go, well, okay, how can I do this with some structure? Obviously with experimentation, if you're a roaster, you can do whatever you want, which is pretty cool too, right? So it could be totally unique to your own roast. And that, I think that is the magic or the thing that spoke to me that totally changed my mind about doing blends and um, changing my perspective, that it can be totally unique. But that being said, I want to start with something, a standard, and then deviate after that. Like, okay, cool, this is what people do. Cool, let me see what I can do from the standard. So I have a resource for you guys that you could look up. It's, um, I'll link it in the description. It's one of the main coffee blogs that I follow online. And uh, this one is a guide on how to even start blending. We're going to go off a standard that I found. What you wanna do is have a 40, 40, 20 kind of breakdown if you're doing three types of different types of greens. So no more than five, um, they think is the best way because and when you start breaking things down by like little tiny hairs, it's, you know, it's a toss up. So a good and economical and maybe reasonable way of breaking down your blends and your greens is 40%, 40%, 20%. Furthermore, the 40% can be your sweeter kind of uh, greens. Another 40% could be your mid palate sort of greens. And then the last 20% would be your high notes or um, Basically, yeah, the high notes, the things that are brighter. Okay, so for example, if a sweet would be like um, uh, Mexico, um, maybe Sumatra, uh, things like that. Mid palate would be something like um, Guatemala, Honduras, something like this. And then high would definitely be like Africa, Ethiopia, Kenya, things like that. So kind of think in that sort of spectrum. And well, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, and that's maybe what you could follow as a guide too. So if we broke it down by numbers, I can do a thousand kilogram or a thousand grams, right? So I'll do 400 grams of, let's just pick. So our sweet, I have here a Nicaragua honey process, a little bit of Colombia, a little bit of Guatemala. I can maybe do like one kilo of a blend today. Maybe, let's see. Um, I have some Ethiopia and I have some Honduras. Let's just get into it and see what we come up with. When we have everything said and done, I have my tablet here so that we can open up Roast Path and document, because maybe we might strike fire today uh, with something cool in this blend, and then we're gonna brand it, we're gonna name it, we're gonna go all out for it, if it tastes good, right? If it goes, if it tastes good. Let's measure. It's also Saturday. <laughs> So we've got a whole cup of coffee. I usually only drink like two cups of coffee max. On Saturday, every once in a while, I drink a lot. 400 of the sweet. So my sweetest stuff is probably gonna be my Nicaragua, my honey processed stuff. All right, 400 grams of Nicaragua honey processed. So we'll put all this in one bin. So this is our main coffee bin. 400 grams Nicaragua, okay? Because we're gonna mix it and then we're gonna roast it. 
Okay, next, we need 400 grams of, say, our mid palette stuff. So I could either choose Honduras or Guatemala or even my Colombia could be even my sweet or my mid palette stuff. I think the Guatemala is a good one for this. Okay, here you go. So we have Guatemala, 400 grams. Now my biggest concern, which I don't know what will happen, is the elevation. They're all kind of, they're not all matching. So let's see. And then we have Ethiopia. That's my brightest coffee here. So 200 grams of the Ethiopia. Boom, okay. Goodness. All right. This is our first blend. 200 grams, Ethiopia, in the pot. Wow, it's all mixed up now. So let's give it a little mix. I'll use this little thing. Um, industrial mixers, it looks like straight up a concrete mixer. They put their blends in there and that's how they consistently mix their greens for blends. They're all kind of different. Some are like smaller beans, some are really big beans. <laughs> so I don't know if that's gonna do anything. That's why it's an experiment. We're just gonna find out. I see some bean defects in here. I'm just gonna pull them out. So we're gonna roast this today. Put that aside. Let's make another one. We wanna keep it under five, right? So let's do a Honduras. I really wanna use the rest of this honey processed one. 400 of this. See how much you get. My Honduras, I feel like that's the most stable and sweet. So there's that. 400 with the Honduras. Another 400 Honduras in there. I wonder if we go for something super smooth. So we already have, this would just be another syrupy on top of it. You know, I really wanna make something for espresso um, because I haven't had espresso in a long time and now seems like the time to do it. So let's use this last bit of Colombia, which is supposed to be very like full of body and everything. 200 grams, Colombia. Possibly that's my espresso blend. So let's write that down too. Okay, 400 grams, let's go. Let's kill it. Four types of coffee, and I think we can do a full thing. Honduras and Mark Columbia for the base. Three, 44 out of that. These are all gonna <laughs> roast so differently. I'm really curious. So we're just gonna fill this bag up till a thousand grams. Let's see what this does. <laughs> Okay, good, we have 700, 300 grams to go on the Ethiopia. 300 grams more to 1,000 grams. Wow, we still had this much left of the Ethiopia. And look, we worked through all of our coffee. So this is a great way to like, kind of like zero out your inventory. Mix it up. Okay, let's take a look. Any weird ones in there? <laughs> this was a toss, it was a Hail Mary. It was Ethiopia. We didn't put the percentages on them, did we? That's what we gotta write down. Okay, so this was like 10%. This was like, this was like 90%. Okay, 442 grams, 442,000 grams. There you go, we have three blends that we get to roast today. So now our next step is to document it all in Roast Path. Um, let's go to coffees and let's go to create new coffee. So we'll call this blend one. It's a pre-roast blend because we pre-mixed um, it. So we didn't roast it and then mix it. That is another way of doing blends as well. So there's three ways of doing blends. You can pre-mix greens like this, like I just did, or you can roast everything first and then mix it. Or you can do the pre um, and the post and then still mix it up all together, right? So there's really no rules. And I had already entered in my greens, so that's great. So what did we say we have? Nicaragua, Guatemala, Ethiopia. So cool. Oh cool, and you can put the things too, like, okay. So this is 40%, it's by percentage. This is 40% and this was 20%. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that, I didn't have to write anything down. I could just do it as I, as I do this next time, okay? Blend number one. Save it. So when we go to roast, I just select that and then um, 
it'll give me a button say roast this coffee. Another question somebody had was, um, does this roast the coffee for you? Um, I'm gonna automatically say, I'm gonna assume no. What it will do is say you roast something like this, Honduras, right? I roasted this already, so let's re-roast. There's a re-roast button. So I'm guessing, we'll, we'll try it out. We'll try it out another time when I have a full batch of single origin coffee. Um, and what I do, or what I see here is this, right? So as I'm roasting, I would just try to trace these lines as I roast. Now you kind of have to remember what you were doing because you don't have any gas comments, you know, what you did on your gas. So you can kind of just assume like, oh cool, I, I went down at a certain point. And you would try to trace this. That's what I'm guessing. I haven't done it yet. We're gonna put it to the test later, okay? But just to answer your question, or try to answer your question right now. So blend one is in there, okay? Type, you can even see it there, cool. Let's create another one for our other blend. This is our um, espresso blend. Pre-roast blend, number of greens, we have three. Okay, we have Nicaragua, this was a 40. 40, enter. Oh, and then we have Honduras, that was a 42. Now all this documenting is if you find something great and you wanna reproduce it, or if you mess it up and it tastes like crap, you wanna not reproduce it and be like, let's. And we're gonna put in our last one, the toss up. We'll call it Hail, Hail Mary. Hail Mary, but we're, gonna, we're probably gonna name it Hail Mary too. Hail Mary, like go for it. Hail Mary blend number three. 30, 30, 30, 10. Bing, save it. How fun. So we have our three coffees that are blends, pre-roast blends inputted into roast path. Now all we have to do when we go over there, like I said, is I click on blend and see it has this button, roast this coffee. How cool is that? It just looks pretty too. I just like looking at it. You can also, um, after, say you nail it, um, I'm guessing, right? Um, select this as a master path. And then I don't know what happens after that. So we're gonna find out. We are learning, we're learning things today. So I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna preheat the roaster. You won't see all that, but I'll see you when we're ready to charge the first blend, okay? See you in a minute.